Hey Glee fans, it's me, Kat Yuri. Um, this has been a little bit of a break between my videos because I have been pulling overtime out of the wazoo and slightly going quietly mad and trying to sleep and eat in between working. But money! Yay! Uh, so welcome to uh, my season one rewatch of Glee. Uh, this is season one, episode nine, Wheels. This is part one of I don't know how many because who knows how often I'll pause this. But we're about to start. I'm going to have to rush through these. I might not pause as much as usual because it's getting late and I do have to work tomorrow. And I want to at least try to get eight hours of sleep. That's not happening, but we'll try. Okay, ready, aim, and fire. In this last week, Quinn's pregnant. You're off the Cheerios. And everyone thinks that Finn's the father, though really it's Pop. But Quinn thinks he's a lime a loser. Uh, and he's cheating and glee. Something else also cheating. Kurt told everybody he's gay, including his dad. Who is when did he specifically tell him? everybody at school he's gay? I mean, we saw him tell his dad, but... Unless April Rhodes, him holding those magazines with him telling everyone he's gay, then. I wonder, is that the same... I love this jumper routine. It's ridiculous. And there are, there are guys on the cheerleading squad, but they're randomly out there. Jacob, you being there is kind of perverted, but then again, you're probably there on the journalist side. I don't think this is the same auditorium they use later. There are guys in the Cheerios. Barely see them, but they're there. Occasionally. She probably just drafts guys off. Sue just probably drafts guys, like, out of the school. Like, you're on the Cheerios this week! I am? Yes, ma'am! No, oh, ma'am, mistress. That's Sue's her master for you. Okay, this is Quinn doing her... How is she getting to these appointments and her parents not know? That's how much a sonogram costs. This is just the beginning. There's going to be more doctor's visits, vitamins, new clothes for when I explode. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Quinn. I'm looking for a job. Cheating, I'm lying. I'm tiring. I almost got in a ball garden, but they said I was too tall to be a bus boy. Somewhere in that pea brain of yours is a man. Access him and tell him to prove to me that I chose the right guy to have a baby with. I will. Did he, I was saying, I'll find a job. Chose the right guy. She's specifically stating chose. I chose you over Puck. My blog has lit up with comments suggesting you don't have a shot at national since you lost quick the brain. Not that Cheerios are stronger than ever. We're going to take nationals with this routine. several sources reporting. Quinn didn't want to leave, but we kicked her out because of the pregnancy scandal. Well, Jacob, this is Ohio, and in order to win, my Cheerios need to appeal to that panel of judges. So if I have a pregnant girl my hair. hands spring into a double layout, the judges aren't going to be admiring her impeccable form. They are going to be wondering if the centrifugal force is going to make the baby's head start frowning. Oh, and by the way, all this, off the record. Probably should have told you that earlier. This isn't fair. Is it fair that I have to stop providing the baseball team with protective cups? I only get a certain amount so of So McKinley has a baseball team. William, yeah, but Artie is He's used to overcome challenges. They just have to find his own drive to sectionals. That uh, Hank Gabriel must cost $600 a week to rent. We can't afford it. Oh, but there's enough money in the budget to fly to Cheerios all over the country for their competitions? Sue so Sylvester has boosters that write fat checks. Who are these boosters? She must be blackmailing them. That's the only thing I can come up with. When I was in the Glee Club, the best part of the competitions was the bus ride to the event. Which is why we need an episode in the bus on the ride to the event. Which is what some people are talking about on Tumblr right now, is actually we need a bottle episode or an episode where the outside the usual. Like, one person suggested we have a non-musical episode of Glee. That'd be freaky. Another person said a, like, band member's view of a Glee's day. And another person said, a episode set on the bus on the way to regionals. Or nationals. What about Target? Track the Another doctor who came to my parents' house last night, Finn. We were lucky that I'm clever and intercepted it. But we have to start paying these doctor's bills, or they're going to go to a collection agency, and then my parents are going to find out that I'm with child. Oh. Your child. All right, guys. We're doing a new number for sectionals. 
Oh, Kurt, you look adorable. Hold on. Give me my... Okay, seating. Artie's up front. Mike's behind him. Quinn is sitting next to Finn. And Tina is actually sitting next to Mike. And I should mention, Quinn is sitting next to Puck. I mean, Quinn is sitting next to Artie. Some past winners. It turns out that the judges like songs that are more accessible. Stuff they know. Uh, standards. Broadway. Oh, Kurt's little Divine Gravity. I love this song. I love this episode for Kurt, except for the end. Gravity, I have an iPod Shuffle dedicated exclusively to selections from Wicked. This is amazing. Can you handle Rachel? And he gives it right to Rachel. Go to shower song. It's also my ringtone. Why do we have to go all vanilla on this song? Kurt's. See, what we okay. need is my chocolate bag. Okay, here we go. There we go. Mercedes and Kurt and Rachel are in the front. And then we've got Brittany, Santana, and Matt in the back. Matt's just randomly sitting in the back because he doesn't exist. And I guess Puck's somewhere in the middle? Okay, Rachel's you know, immediately I'm notating things. Rachel is singing. Don't worry. We'll find something for you to dip in chocolate. <laughs> Schuster, I get it. You're the cool teacher. That's a little bit weird. Puck saying it? Okay. You saying it? Weird. I like you. Which a lot of you apparently don't. I mean, I get it. You're kind of inappropriate, but you're earnest, and I think if with the, if you understood your faults, you would work for them. Work over them. Whatever. Sorry, I've just been getting an awful lot of Schuster hate on my uh, on Tumblr lately, seeing a lot of people not like Schuster, wanting Schuster to like bad things for Schuster, and uh, then almost every fanfic I read seems to have Schuster as the villain. Stop making Schuster the villain! Make him the earnest! I'm sorry. This is a rant about fanfiction. I'm going to stop now. He is, yeah. On to item two. This Finn does not get the chip. Special bus we need to take Artie in a wheelchair with a section bus. What? That's completely unfair. So, we're gonna have to raise money to pay for it ourselves. Tina's like, I'll, I'll do that. And we need a new silk cover buns for regionals. We held a bake sale. Puck's like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're joking, right? I mean, bake sales are kind of bougie. Bougie? So if people stopped eating delicious sugary treats? It's not that. Most of us don't know how to bake. I find recipes confusing. My family is fully committed to taking up. Yeah, Mr. She kids are busy. I have this odd feeling that Brittany was drugged for some of season one. I find recipes confusing. Can't Artie's dad just take him? I can't believe how. Oh, Mercedes. Are you a Can't his dad just take him? But Artie understands. Don't you, Artie? Oh, Oh, Quinn, like, overpowering. Nope, he understands. We're not going to do it that way. It takes away your time for what This is kind of like before Artie fully found his power as the lead, the underground leader of New Directions. Okay, Artie. Did Artie continue with the band after season one? That's an excellent question. There he's playing guitar. Do we ever see him play guitar again after this? I know he plays, I know guitar, Puck plays guitar with him. When he's trying back for Britney, he doesn't. I think he doesn't usually play guitar because he's so busy rolling his things. Okay, this is the McKinley Hall I know and love. Kevin McHale has done a very great job of working that very good. Oh, hold on. We're seeing people at a table. Kurt, Tina, they're both at a table together. 
Kurt looks adorable. Artie's kind of looking at Tina. Oh, that was so adorable. Miss Curtina friendship. That's all I'm getting. I'm sorry, Kevin McHale, that I'm not paying enough attention to your song and singing because sometimes I, sometimes I appreciate the songs and the singing and I love it. Other times it's just like, this isn't my song. This isn't my jam. And ooh, I think it's just the pacing. Oh, hi, Kurt. Look at Kurt with his little bandana and it looks so, I mean... Like gangster. <laughs> I don't even know what he's doing there. Okay. Um, what can I see from here? Front row is Mike Puck, Mercedes, Kurt, Rachel, Artie. Back row is Quinn, Finn, Matt, Brittany, Santana, and Tina. Some of these times I wonder if they're sitting in a certain pattern for a reason. Or if this was the best pattern because uh, this is where the actors decided to sit in that scene or the director decided we need to see people in certain spaces. I'm always meta about seating. Well, for this rewatch series, I guess I am meta about seating, seating all the time. So far, I don't think Schuster's worn a lot of sweater vests. That's interesting. Okay, um, let me actually pause this one here. We're going to get to part two in a second, but uh, once again, thank you for watching these. I'm completely and utterly insane. Um, but once again, this was uh, my rewatch, season one, episode nine, Wheels. This is part one. Part two. Part two. Part two is coming up. Toodles.